spark plug out. <clears throat> we got the spark plug out. There we go. We're going to do a quick compression test. We're going to do a the compression test. This is our compression tester. It's a little dirty on the front. You can't even read it. It's all right. I need, can see it. Need soap and water? <coughs> What's the camera seeing? Try to show this the is going to be cool. Be sure the motor is <coughs> on the ground. Here's where it goes in. Where the spark plug used to be. Where the spark plug used to be, the little hole right here. I don't know you if can you can see, see that, that it's moving. Make sure your compression tester fits so it doesn't hit the piston when you turn yep. it over. <coughs> now this is a Esca outboard motor by Sears. Well, yeah, well you're sorry. I'm sorry. This is a Esca Sears outboard motor, and I don't know if you. If, but I know these are rare, and here rare around here but this one I, we found for free and here we are yeah, you can hold this and hold the camera on the gauge so you can see it but won't the won't the, look in here want the compressed air get me no it won't touch you won't even get near you can you see the gauge yep in the camera don't get too close if you do you gotta do this wow Wow. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that is awesome. That's how needle moved up to 90 psi. Yeah. Three pulls. Yep. So we got compression. Yep. Now we know she's gonna be and now we know he's gonna be a runner. And we get to <coughs> spark next. So There's your spark. float carburetor bowl and stuff. Make sure that's always clean before you fire it up or we'll go blah 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 blah. You know, motor will do that and bog down and then stall. But you don't want that to happen. We're just going to touch the spark plug with some paper here. Do we need to sand the points? No, we can't get to them that easily. They may not need anything anyway. Hopefully this motor is real good. Points almost never are the problem anyway, <coughs> unless they burn out. The condensers are the problem. But <coughs> now... We will check for sparks. Will it fire? It won't fire. There's no fuel, and this ain't going in the hole. It's just going right there. And hopefully. Yep. Is this a flip share? No, it's your camera. For me to keep? For you to use for now. When we pull, and we'll watch for spark. Is a spark plug bad or something? I don't think there's a kill switch on this thing. Let me move the throttle halfway. I'm seeing no spark. That ain't no good. Time to throw away the motor. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna throw it away. Try and move this <laughs> over here. It don't run. Hmm. <laughs> well, we may be taking the points out after all. But. Uh. I'm sorry, buddy. We're not gonna get to run this thing today. Okay, I'm sorry, folks. Your... There you go. This is part. This is a part of the. This is the Tecumseh official Tecumseh engine. Let's see if you see in there. Everything looks okay. Not bad. Wow. Are we restoring this thing. Basic problem, just a shit condenser. Yeah, crappy condenser, y'all. Can I ask you a question about it? What? Does anybody know where you can find a con uh, condenser for this old thing right here? If anybody, does anybody ha know where I can find one? Sure, 
show it. See, it's all corroded and it's all corroded and this thing has been through. It's seen it's it's seen better days. The 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 condenser has seen better days than this motor here. Needle near needle bearings good as you can see. That looks good, clean, could be clean. Let's see where there's been some crankshaft rubbing on the thrust area. Mm -hmm. That's scoring. Is that called scoring? Mm, sort of, kind of galling, actually. Can I say it's got a two wing prop? It's got a, it's got a two wing it's got a two wing prop. It's got a two wing prop as you can see. And it's got the water cooling. It's got the water cooling uh poles so water can so can water be sucked up the cool exhaust and there's the exhaust manifold. There's the exhaust there right there. That's your exhaust. Then this is your main prop, and this is an old 1969 ESCA 1705 outboard motor. And we're currently restoring this old thing right here so we can get this thing running. And I'll show you the recoil thing right here. I'll show you the recoil. Here's the recoil right here. Here's what you really want to ask them. Anybody got any good ideas on how to get this stuff out of the tank? Does anybody have a good idea? Does anybody have a good idea to make re get rid of rust rust in a gas tank and this old Tecumseh gas tank? If anybody has any ideas, please comment if you're interested in telling us how to get rid of this stuff. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Nope, it's pitch black in there. But uh, I think you, I think well, you got a glimpse of it. This tells a story though. And this. That's probably what's in the carburetor. Well, you know, some of it'll be in there. Is it a good idea to get di get the the diesel to wash it out? We will. We will. I'm gonna get this parts picked up. Picked up. Pull this. See it. The recoil's fine. It's cool. It's cool. And if anybody has any ideas on how to clean this fuel tank out, I'd surely appreciate it. Uh, see you later, YouTubers.